when you create a file in Sibelius, it takes on what is known as the inbuilt house style. Now the house style determines how the score looks on the page. It's to do with things like the font used for the text, the type of shapes for the, the clefts and the note heads, um, even down to things like the thickness of the bar lines and the, the style of these uh, brackets and stuff like that. Anything at all to do with how the, the, the music looks on the page is determined by the house style. If I, for example, start a new file here, when you get to this point, you have the option up here of changing the house style. Now, 9 times out of 10, 99 times out of 100, to be honest, you'll probably leave that alone. But these are the various options that are there. However, if I cancel that down, so I'm now looking at a file that already exists, and this file uses the default house style. But of course you can change it, as with anything in Sibelius. And it's to do with the appearance, so we go to the, the appearance tab. And over in the house style group, you'll see there's an import and export. If I click on the import option, these are the default house styles that are built into Sibelius. You can see what the effect, all of these things are affected by the house style that you bring in. To see the differences, um, let's say for example I'm going to pick the jazz reprise one. I can click OK, and suddenly the music takes on a completely different appearance. Notice that the text has now got a different font, the title text is different over here, the uh, composer text is different, the notes themselves look different, the, the time signature looks different, everything looks different in it. It doesn't sound any different, it still sounds exactly the same, but it looks different. It's all to do with how the thing looks. I can import a different one, let's try um, standard ink pen 2. And that looks different again. Let's try um, Keyboard Opus Georgia. So you can see that you can change exactly how your score looks on the page. Let's go for one more. Let's try Lead Sheets Opus Times. There we go. I'll go for that one. Now, of course, if you make all sorts of changes to the way your, your score looks, you can export your own house style. This option is usually the domain of professional publishing houses who want this, their music to all look in a specific way. So they would set the score up, set a single score up, export that house style, and then they can import it from the list that will be here. For 99% of users though, it's absolutely fine just to use the house styles that are in there. In fact, as I said right at the start of this video, most people wouldn't even bother. So, but it's worth knowing that you can change the way your score looks just by changing the house style.